on to jams where hit music lives. Locked in the midday chop up right here with your girl Erin Rain Popcat and I'm Ruli Cuz with millions. And I know so much a lot of us wish was in our bank accounts today, but one day, keep on praying, keep on working, one day it's gonna happen. But right now, it's all about Chat Trap, letting you know what's going on in the media today, giving you all the juice on some of your hottest celebrities, well, your top celebrities. And right now, let's start things off with what's happening in the life of Miss Britney Spears. So it's sad to see what's going on in the life of some of our favorite artists today, but especially Britney Spears, um, who was one of the top pop stars, well, who was the pop queen even at one point in time, that was many years ago. So just recently, she had broke a silence in a court in a court hearing regarding her court ordered conservatorship that has been in place for nearly 13 years, and so she alleged that her father has been drugging her and forcing her to be on birth control. Um, in the herring and uh, it's just really sad to see and even um, I think was ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake um, he even took to social media and he even voiced the fact that you know everyone should be supporting Britney right now and of course you know they should be listening to her because something has to be going on in the home and maybe it is who really knows hopefully they'll find out soon so what's happening with Trick Daddy he done found himself in the hot seat because of his mouth in a chat that took place on Clubhouse. So Trick Daddy voiced his unpopular opinion that he stated. He said that the Queen Bee, Miss Beyonce, does not write her music and that she cannot sing. And of course, you know, fans went crazy when they heard that, when they heard him say that. And he even also added that her husband, Jay-Z, never won the greatest rapper alive title. And he don't even know who got who gave Jay-Z that title. So, of course, Beyonce fans, the Beehive, was not here for it, and they took to social media bashing Trick Daddy so bad that they even went as far as leaving bad reviews for his Miami restaurant, Sunday's Eatery. I didn't even know he had a restaurant in Miami, so now I know. And maybe I'll check it out, maybe I might not, because the reviews that they're leaving online actually cost the ratings to go to about 2.6, a very, very low 2.6. I don't know if he'll be getting any business after that. Maybe, maybe not. But what's happening in Pop Smoke's world right now? You know, he passed away last year, February. But his fans and his estate is doing a great job with keeping his spirit alive. So much that another Pop Smoke album is on the way and it's actually coming out on July 16th. I'm super excited to hear that. You know, he did record a lot of music and that's one thing that 50 Cent did say. Of course, you know, he's one artist that was working and you could tell if he did not pass away, you know, he more likely was going to be next up. So it's sad to see that he passed away at the age of 20 years old, so young. But the title for the album has not been announced just yet. But of course, I'll keep you up to date with that. But listen up, man. Chat Trap right there letting you know what's happening in the media today. All your hot topics. Jumping back into the mix right now. Trick Daddy throwing it back. Thug Holiday.